Welcome to just to another quick shot. Today I'm going to teach you how to go from this to that. Stay tuned. All right, easiest way to do this, click on all results, type in compressor, take your compressor, place it on to the group that you want the pumping effect on. The output of the kick group is going to be inputted into the keys group, for example here. So right now you're going to hear this. Pretty basic, right? There's still the, you can still hear the kick drum, but you don't hear that pumping effect that uh, we want to hear. So onto the group, we click on this little button here. It doesn't matter what compressor you use as long as it has side chaining. Uh, so we click side chain. So essentially we're going to take the side audio, so i.e. the kick, and output into the input of the keys. So out and in, all right? So the audio is coming from the kicks group. The higher the ratio, the more compression effect you're going to get. I'm finite is uh, essentially brick walling your sound. So two to one is pretty subtle, but it's noticeable. Your attack, okay, think of an, when you punch somebody, the attack, right? And then when you pull back from punching is the release. So think of punching a, a punching bag, whatever. Attack as punch, release is bringing it back, okay? So if you wanna punch someone fast and then bring it back slowly, or do you wanna punch someone really slow and bring in the release quicker? Attack and release, okay, in and out. Now the threshold, first of all, is how much of the effect you wanna get, okay? Uh, where the audio is going to actually be affected by the output of the kick. So let's listen. Too much, right? Right, right, too much. Let's bring it back up. That easy. Now you can start playing with the attack and the release, sure. But that's a little bit more advanced. With this basic setting, you're going to get that compression sound, that pumping feeling. It's not really noticeable to the people that listen to the music. It's more to be felt. So now we can play around the attack. We can hear more of the kick if we bring the attack to be uh, quicker. And now you'll hear less of the kick, the transient of the kick, if you bring the attack up higher. It's safe to keep your attack around 2 milliseconds. Anywhere between uh, 0 and 5 milliseconds is pretty quick. Uh, it allows the transient of the kick to come in which is the most important part to hear when you're side chaining. The release, uh, is sometimes leaving on an auto is fine. Leaving on an auto is gonna actually groove with the beat of the music. Play around with those settings. You gotta remember there's no solid rule with compression. It's how it sounds to you. You don't want compression to be extremely noticeable because people will be like, what is that that I'm hearing? You don't want people to hear that. You want them to enjoy and feel your music. As simple as that. If you want to have your ratio to infinity and your compression down here, and that sounds good to you, then that's all that matters. You got to make music that sounds good to you. Stop listening to the rules because there ain't none with music. This is another Slimy Production. Have a great day.